Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Fjordor, and this is how you find and beat Steinbjorn, which is actually a shockingly easy boss to find and beat on the new map. Now, all you need to do is know what to expect and how to do it, and I'll show you all of that in this video. So first off, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and if you want to consider subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. Literally, if 10% of the people that watch my video subscribed, I would have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and that would be awesome. So, let's go ahead and continue. First off, you have to travel down, I believe it's Vanaheim you have to go to. And you can see me right here, or no, it's not Vanaheim, it's, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but 77.6, 30.8, and all you have to do is get under the map into the ice cove, and uh, basically that's all you have to do. Get to the point, I'll go ahead and fly up real quick so you can kind of see where I'm talking about. Go ahead and foot, really. There we go. Okay, so you can see there's Blue Ob down here, and you just have to get down into this zone right here, and then you kind of like shoot off into this little mini lake right here, and boom, go to those cores, and you will be good. So once you've gotten to this point, all you have to do is run into this cave. Now this cave is pretty simple, actually. You just run down into it, and you have to have the right stuff. So, one, a wild Giganotosaurus will not be able to do this. Two, a just by yourself, you can if you have a bred, a well-bred Giganotosaurus with a decent saddle. Now, it is going to be very dangerous, and I highly encourage you to bring med brews as well as a tech canteen and food and all of that kind of stuff, because even though it's a very quick walk to get down in here, this thing is a destroyer of worlds. Now, if you have two opposite gender Giganotosaurus, you can see I've died here just to test a few things out. And if you have two opposite genders, they will work great for everything down here. But if you only have one, that is just fine. You do not need both, technically. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy out. This is a bread one. You can see there's the imprint bonus, 700 melee. A good giga overall. The other one is not the greatest giga, so I won't throw it out. I want to show you how to do this with one. But you will need to have good imprinting on it. Now, this guy is going to spawn right here, right in front of you. I really encourage you to back into a wall with your Ganotosaurus because he is going to knock you around. And if he knocks you too far out of the range, he's going to respawn back in here, like teleport instantly with full health. So you want to be careful about that. Insert your rune stones. You can see I've spawned underneath him right now. Let me out. Crouching is the best way to do it. And then you're going to go ahead and back up into your corner. You see he spawns right there. You can go first person if you want to because sometimes third person sucks with this. See that attack he just did right there with the spinny thing? Yeah, that's not something that's fun. That's how he does all of his damage. So I'll go ahead and start attacking, and you can kind of see the amount of damage that he's able to off-put. It's a ridiculous amount. Um, you can see, as long as you've got a decent Giganotosaurus, though, you are just fine. With that imprint bonus, you're doing about 3,000 3, 3, a hit. Now, some of the official level Giganotosauruses are doing 2k a hit. I mean, uh, 2,000 melee damage, so it's going to be triple what I'm doing here, so like 7,000 a bite. So if you have, like, once the server's open you'll be able to easily destroy this thing. But I will warn you ahead of time, see that attack that he just did right there with all those like spinning things? That hurts. That is a bunch of burst damage, so that's why you can't do this with just a wild tame Giganotosaurus, because if you try and do it with a wild, it'll rage your Giga, and that's not something you want to have happen. Now these little rubble guys, you can, as long as you're in the corner like I am right now, you can kind of see me just attacking. Um, you'll be able to hit them before they even get close to coming to kill you. Now, again, you're going to get some pretty crazy loot off of this as well. 30 element is pretty awesome, and here comes those big hits. See, one, two, whatever it is, a bunch of them. Yeah, they hurt. Um, it's a big burst damage. Um, it probably does about 2,000, 3,000 damage to whatever you're on. So a high-level Rex army could easily defeat this thing too, by the way. Um, it's basically a full-size boss, so as long as you have the ability to take out a decent boss, like a Gamma-level boss, that is the same equivalent I would call Storm, Stor, Steinbjorn, or however you properly say it. I'm not going to pretend I know. And uh, that, that is how I encourage you to do this. You cannot beat this without tanky, 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 tanky tanks. So Giganotosaurus, Rexes will do the trick. If you have a really, really good Deinonychus that can help you out, that would be a good thing. But you can see you get some pretty good loot off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I got. Um, you can see there's 30 elements, so I've earned 60 doing two of them. A glider suit, a good Packy saddle, Deodon saddle, a scuba mask, not really of any value. And then the Steinbjorn relic. You can see that you're going to need this for later on. Um, and that is how you do it. You see I lost about, give or take, about mm, 8k health. Um, and that's with an imprinted 108 armor saddle. So I would really encourage you to not do this with just your single Giganotosaurus. You probably want to use more than one. So a mate boost would be a great idea to reduce the amount of incoming damage plus the uh, 
the boost of having the two gigas there would be a great idea. And you can see 300,000 health. Yeah, that's a big boy. Uh, it does a lot of damage with that burst, but if you have multiple gigas or if you just have the one well, well, good, good giga, you can do this pretty easily. Now, again, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. However, if you want to join me and play on my server cluster, look below, click on the Discord link, and you'll be able to actually join my server cluster. And then if you want 5% off your own servers or server cluster, click below, and you will get a G Portal link to get a certain percentage off. I think it's 5% exactly off of your servers. And they are a great company and I use them all the time. So hopefully this video helps you out and teach out.